Hello Onion Creekers, this is Lonnie Alexander, your teaching pro, giving the last of a three-part series in etiquette. Uh, we are in the bunker here on One North. Although I don't find this bunker very often, it's a convenient place for me to show you how to rake a bunker and where the bunker rake should be placed after raking. You should find the rake at the shallowest point of the bunker. That's the best place to enter the bunker. It helps to keep the lips from getting caved in. It also helps just from a safety standpoint of stepping in on the shallow side. Again, after you finish raking the bunker, you should replace it fully outside of the bunker. That's the policy we try to abide by here at the club. Outside of the bunker on the shallowest entry point is where you should find the bunker and where you should place it after raking. Now, I'm gonna double up and give you a little tip. I get big bucks for showing people how to hit a bunker shot. Again, I've given you this tip before. Dig those feet in, put that weight on your left side, open that face, and, and then we're really going to try to splash this out. We don't need to hit it very far, we just need to get it right outside the bunker. So I got the face open, I got my knees bent. You'll watch in the video how my legs stay really quiet. Uh, I nip that really nicely. Got a nice little putt at getting this baby up and down. Now, I've left myself with some work to do. I like to toss my wedge outside the bunker and then I'll start to rake by pushing forward, trying to smooth this area out, kind of pull and push. As I work my way out of the bunker, it's a little bit awkward. Sometimes I just have to go ahead and get on out and finish up the rake job. And then I'll put that rake right back where it should be, leaving that bunker better than I found it, hopefully. I hope this tip will help you take care of our golf course, leave the bunkers nice for the next golfer, and where it's real easy for him to find the rake. Good luck and thanks again.